What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about the SIG P320 X5 Legion. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare starring. Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crash it in my car, wake up in a bar. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be talking about the SIG P320 X5 Legion. Uh, this is a great gun. To me, it feels great. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and debate uh, SIGs and their products and their prices and stuff like that. That's not what this video is about. All right, I'll have a link down in the description below to their website for this gun specifically so you can go in and look at everything, look at the price. All right, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm just here to talk about the gun itself. Uh, some people just have not had a chance to shoot this gun or understand what they're getting. Um, the, I'm sorry, this is a great gun to have. Um, if you're looking for what we would call your fighting gun, or if you're looking to possibly get into some competition shooting, this is a great option for both fighting gun or competition gun. Um, I don't really know if you can run it both ways. It just depends on what type of competition that you're doing. But just want to talk about the gun itself, some of the features, some of the options and everything. Um, first thing is let's go ahead and make sure we're clear. All right, so everybody can see that the gun is empty. Um, it just... Man, just holding this thing, let me tell you, just putting this thing in your hands, it just, it feels good. Okay, then that's something to think about when you're looking at this. You might go and put this gun in your hand and absolutely hate the way that it feels. Alright, everybody's different. Everybody's got their own preference, their own opinions and stuff. But for me, when I put this thing in my hands, it just it fits like a glove it just feels so comfortable and the way they have this thing designed and weighted there's hardly no muzzle rise at all whatsoever okay a big reason there is you have a txg tungsten infused grip module here yes it's infused with tungsten so it gives it some weight all right now with that infused tungsten here on the grip module okay what they say is that's going to reduce your muzzle rise by up to 50 percent and i will say shooting this compared to some of my other guns you can tell the difference you can definitely tell the difference the other thing the flashlight is going to help out with that now this flashlight does not come with this gun let me go ahead and make that clear this is a flashlight that was put on the gun this does not come with the gun okay I'm going to do a later video discussing flashlights for guns, so we'll get into that later. But just to let everybody know, flashlight doesn't come with the gun, but it is one thing that will help put some weight on the front of the gun and help control that recoil. But you can tell when you pick this thing up that it's got a little bit more weight to it. But now, in general, the overall weight, that is the great thing, is 43 and a half ounces. All right, so yes, I said that, 43 and a half ounces, even with your tungsten infused grip module. All right, so it's a light gun, but I'll be honest, it, it's a light gun, but it doesn't feel light, but it also doesn't feel heavy. So I don't know if that's gonna make any sense to you. I, that's why you just, you need to shoot it, you need to put it in your hands. Now, when you get this, it's going to come with three 17 round steel mags. All right, on these mags here, okay, you have a Henning Group anodized aluminum base plant. So this will just, they drop out so smooth. I mean, you just, plus, I mean, your steel mags are going to drop out a little smoother anyway, but you've got a little bit of weight on these and you don't have to go and add any kind of base plate to extend it out or anything extended base plate or anything like that unless you want to okay because i mean it's just gonna come out so smoothly it's already got a flared mag well so your flared mag well helps you with those mag changes and stuff 
So it's already got a flared mag well pre-installed. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't looked to see if you can get anything wider. I don't really know why you would want to go too much wider than that, but I'm pretty sure there are some aftermarket options out there for you. I just haven't gone in and looked. I just wanted to talk about this gun itself. So again, Henny Group anodized aluminum base paint, base paint, base pads, I can't talk today, I'm sorry y'all, to help out with how this thing drops out. They are 17 round, you get three of them. Your sights, okay? Your sights are Dawson Precision Adjustable Fiber Optic Sight. Now the rear sight's blacked out, your fiber optic's gonna be up here in your front sight, but I will tell you, if you're not a red dot fan or you're not comfortable with red dots yet, this thing is very easy to pick up. But it does have a removable plate here, so if you do want to add a red dot, it's already ready to go for a red dot. But again, these iron sights are very clear. Again, fiber optics are in the sun. It really makes it pop. Any kind of light really makes that pop, so it does make it easier to pick up than some of your other sights that come on from the factory. Okay, so a lot, lot, lot of options. Uh, the overall length here is eight and a half inches. Your barrel length is five inches. Okay, it's gonna come with a solid steel guide rod and a 14 pound 1911 style spring, but it's also gonna come with a 12 pound spring if you'd like to swap that out. So this, this thing is, I would, to me, if you wanted to compete out of the box, it's ready to go depending on what kind of competition you're going to do. Uh, if anything, maybe add a red dot just depending on what you do. Now your trigger here, your trigger right here, this is a very, very good trigger. All right, it's a skeletonized flat trigger. All right, it's supposed to be 30% lighter than what their other triggers are. Now, I'll be honest, I did not test what kind of pound pressure the trigger press is. I haven't done that. You'll have to forgive me. You can do that yourself or you can go in and read all about it. All right, I just wanted to give you all an idea of everything that you're getting with this thing. This is an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal handgun. I'm sorry. If you don't like SIG products, that's fine. That's your prerogative. But me, I'm not particular to one manufacturer or the other. As long as it feels good in my hands and it shoots good and it's easy to control and that's everything you're getting right here. So if you're wanting to go ahead, and I look, let's be honest. If you go and do everything that's been done to this gun, you're probably going to spend way more than what this thing is actually worth if you buy it with it already done. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know where you would go to get a, or have a tungsten infused grip module. So, I don't even know if that's something somebody could do. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. But you're getting a great gun at a good price. Now, if you want to sit here and go down in the comments and talk shit about it and talk about how it's too expensive and everything, but then you're going to walk over and put your hand and on a staccato and want it and, I mean... Come on now, let's, let's, let's be reasonable. All right, now, am I, I'm not sitting here saying staccatos are bad guns. I'm not sitting here saying, you know, you're not getting, you know, what you're putting into the gun. All right, same thing here. You're getting what you put into the gun. All right, I, the price is very reasonable. You can even find them on sale at a really good price sometimes. But this gun just feels so good in the hands. It shoots so good just like i said with this the tungsten line grip module even with the flashlight all right you've got some weight reduction cut out up here at the top of the slide and everything that doesn't make the muzzle rise any more or any less it's what they've done inside the grip module here that does help it out but everything is just so smooth i mean you can feel it when you send that slide forward you can feel it when you rack it i mean Oh my God, I mean, it's, it's like butter. It's like taking a hot knife and cutting through butter. I mean, you can just feel how great this thing is when you manipulate it and you use it mags in, out. I mean, everything just feels so good. It's 
very easy to break down. All right, I'm not gonna get into breaking it down. There's not much difference between any other gun out there. If you wanna go and see how to break it down, there's tons of videos out there. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about breaking it down and then get into all that. I wanted to talk about the gun itself, let you know some of the options with the grip module. All right, red dot ready, skeletonized trigger. All right, the different guide rods and springs and everything. Please, if you're looking for a good gun, this is a good gun. If you're looking for a gun to dedicate to your fighting gun, this is it. If you're looking for a gun to dedicate to competition, this is it. It's very versatile. You have a lot of options here with this gun. So please, if you, if, now look, I wanted to do this and talk about it. You might go and watch another video where somebody talks trash about it. You might see people in the comments talking trash about it, all right? If you're looking for this to be your first gun, I'm not saying this won't be a good first gun, but you need to go and put it in your hands. If you can, you need to go and shoot it. Because you might put it in your hands and you might shoot it and you might not like it. What I like, you might not like. Just because I'm giving this thing a great review doesn't mean you need to go out and buy it for your first gun or for your first competition gun. See how it feels, shoot it. I can't stress that enough, but you're not gonna go wrong with this at all whatsoever. This is a gun to have in your collection. This is a gun for fighting gun, a competition gun. I again, will have the link for this gun down in the description so you can go in and read more about it. But you won't be disappointed with this thing, I promise. If you're disappointed with it, I don't know what to tell you. So, please, go check it out. Run some rounds through it. If you're local and you want to run some rounds through it and you want to see what it's like, let me know. We can set something like that up. Go check it out. Put it in your hands. Shoot it. See how it feels. There are some really good options out there when it comes to holsters as well, too. So it's not something where you're not going to be able to find a holster for it. You will be able to find a holster for it. There's many companies out there making holsters for it. There's many companies out there with aftermarket options depending on what you want to do to the gun. But I'll be honest, I wouldn't... As far as color, scheme, stuff like that, there's not really much I'm going to change. I enjoy it the way it is. That's just me. All right, so I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thank you for all of the subscribers and supporters and followers. It truly means a lot. Please continue to share and comment and like and please get others to subscribe as well too we're gonna have some other great videos coming out and always remember folks if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead train to live see you on the range coming with me i'm taking six shots yeah straight to the face and i want to get lost i'm sick of this place don't know how to stop when i'm feeling this way so i'm taking six shots Feel